Hello and welcome. Right, a bit warm, hottest day of the year. Uh, today I've got a nice bit of screeding to do. Screeding? Yeah. Bit of thought, screeding on the hottest day of the year. Fantastic. What can you do? Enjoy. So here's the area I'm doing today. One nice large room and one smaller one. As you can see, it's all prepped and ready to go. So let's get started. Find the levels around the edge of the room. And you're gonna to have to work your way out because you don't wanna get stuck in the bathroom or shower room as this one's going to be. As always, I've pinched my nice cushion from the sofa so I can live the life of luxury while at work. Keeping my knees nice and sweet, of course. So here I'm able to work from the frame of where the shower's going to be to get my levels. And then once I've done this side, then I can start working my area all around the room. Bit of a whoopsie. Oh well, let's crack on. So now I've got my levels done, I can work from the timber frame and my level, infilling and pulling backwards. Once it's about there, I can give it a quick float and a bit of a trowel and then move on. Now a smaller room can be a bit more of a challenge, but you just got to take your time and you'll get there. Bit of persistence. These bits can be a bit faffy, but no problem. And just keep continue infilling using the timber frame and the level at the edge to roll it off and work your way out of the room. Now this screed is being mixed with some chunky old screed fibres, which is what you can probably see on the surface once it's been troweled up. Yeah, they're not always essential, depending on the spec, of course, but they do add a nice bit of strength. It really helps the screed bind together. And there's that area done. Now the good thing that I love about screeding, it's so satisfying. Beautiful. Right, now let's crack on with the next bit. Now this floor level is actually slightly higher than the shower room. So I'm getting my datum point from over there and running my roll all the way along to the edge. And as it's such a scorcher of a day, I'm not gonna do the whole perimeter of the room. I'm gonna split it in half. That way I'll be able to concentrate and get half the side done nicely without it going off and me melting in the hot sun. Right, let's slow it down while we get the level. I like to use a six foot level. Stabilia is my one of choice. Can't go wrong. And then try and rule it nice and flat and compact. So when you come to use it as your guide, it is lovely. Just a nice back and forth motion with a lovely firm controlled grip. And I think we're about there. Yep, looks good. Now we can continue along with the remaining three levels at the edges. So use a shovel to even it out. Then I may use a bit of a trowel before getting the roll on it. And compact it nice and tight at the edges. Crikey. <laughs> Oops. So while you all get to enjoy this awesome camera work, I suppose I can tell you about the mix, which I'm sure you're all super curious to know about. Well, maybe. <laughs> so I'm using a three-in-one mix. So three sharp sand and one cement. And it's also got fibers in, as you can see, plenty of those. Be engaged with the same size buckets to assure a nice, accurate and consistent mix. Most of the time, anyway. Now at this point, I thought I would stop and just show you the work completed at this moment for two reasons. One, it looks fantastic and it's nice to appreciate your own work. But two, the mixer decided and felt that it was overworked and underpaid and in the heat of the sun decided to conk out and overheat. So in that case, sandwich time. And a pay rise for the mixer, off we go again.
So there are three main types of floor screed. So you've got the bonded floor screed, the unbonded floor screed, and a floating floor screed. And this one that I'm doing is a floating floor screed. So it's on Kingspan insulation, and the thickness is about an average of about 75 mil. On top of the Kingspan is the DPM, the layer of waterproof membrane that you can see. So that just stops the moisture coming up from the ground into the building. Now doing really well and really getting there, making good progress. A good float over and a nice trowel gives a lovely finish. Now let's keep going. Almost there. And the keen-eyed viewers among you, I'm sure, have noticed that I've actually got some new boots on. My old ones, the laces, and actually the lace holders, gave up the ghost, so luckily I had some spankers in the car. Nice to finish off with. And there we have it. A beautiful screed, looking fantastic. A lovely job on an even nicer day. Ooh, yeah. A reminder of what it looked like before. And then after. You can't go wrong. Here is the shower room before. And afterwards there we go lovely finished floor a nice bit of screening as always thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this why not subscribe hit the like button the alarm thingamajig and until next time keep living the dream And just before I enjoy the rest of the sunshine, just got to wash up these few tools and be on my way. Until next time, bye-bye.